Let's see what. A petit Porsche. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Would be something for me. Because <laughs> you do not have a lot to compensate for, so. <laughs> I ruined your shop there. <laughs> Good morning, comrades, and I have some good and some less good news. Well, the good news is, as of from tomorrow, I will be caught up with all the vlogs, so the casual delay of three days is gonna be instead of like, what, 10 days or two weeks delay, what we had recently. The bad news is, is the reason for my catching up with the vlogs is because I haven't vlogged for the last like 10 days or something like what, what delay was, but don't worry. Um, there wasn't like much interesting stuff happening of course some things were happening but I made like this video is gonna show you the highlights of the stuff that uh, have happened in the last 10 days first of all I want to remind you that we are doing a big giveaway together with me and BOTB and you should check out the link in the description below if you haven't signed up for the giveaway yet the second thing of the highlights I well I got new t-shirts from uh, Nürburgring, I went to do some shopping and the reason why I'm saying this is once in a while a couple of comments pop up in the common feed asking like where did you get those t-shirts? So here they are. So this is the other stuff that I got and I don't know why I'm showing this to you, it's turning like into fashion vlog but then again many of you ask where I get it. Uh, so in this case I bought it from Nürburgring and if you're from overseas and cannot make a trip to Nürburgring you can check out the link in the description uh, where you can go to official web shop of Nürburgring but anyway this is what I got uh, this one I like pretty much because this is E92 I think it's a GT2 car but it could be also a bunch of GT3 cars uh, whatever this RC Farsi uh, t-shirt then this one with the tire pattern with the Nürburgring logo I'm too lazy to fold them back so I'm not gonna unfold them you can also check them out on the web shop of Nürburgring and what's worth noting is that this and this uh, it's like a classic collection. Nürburgring always has two collections, like the modern versions and uh, something uh, related to classic design. So this is, for example, the celebration of the 90 years of Nürburgring. Uh, also, this the shirt that I'm currently wearing is also the, the one for the 90 years. And also, I got other stuff. Uh, for example, this jacket that you see me wearing in earlier vlogs when it was quite cold. This is, for example, the classic collection. Yep, without the 90 years logo because it was produced before, well, last year, so 89 years of Nürburgring in this case. And this jacket you also may know, well, you should know, is like the, the casual collection. So, learn something about Nürburgring fashion today, comrades. Then the next thing, uh, yesterday's vlog was about me bringing the up to Guerrilla Exhaust. So, this has been happening in the meanwhile. Here goes horsepower. <laughs> All three of them.
Then another thing which is quite sad, Robert has sold the R8. So my dream to make it a twin turbo crazy track drag racing monster hoonmobile or whatever not is shattered. <sighs> bye bye R8 V10, the car that I actually never got to know, unfortunately. But maybe one day there'll be something else. <sighs> Still sad to see her go. Then next, of course, there was some driving. A lot of cool cars have visited us at Apex. Most interesting was probably the GT3 RS of my friend Ashish. And we found out that the GT3 RS is actually pretty suiting as a family car. You could go on trips with it with three people. Oh. Wing. So, one. <laughs> two, three people, but it's only a two-seater. So, oh, yeah. This is not gonna work. The car is too small. It will. Trust me. I've done this before. We can do it. <laughs> Where would you like me to go? <laughs> ah. Try it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I need to close the door. Are we okay? Mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sit like this the whole time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> can you breathe? I can. Are you gonna be fine? Because this is like the way you're gonna feel for like <laughs> 20 okay. minutes. <laughs> Wait, is this like a lap timer? Yep. That's cool. Okay. No. I'm gonna go butt first. So if somebody could go and catch me, that would be great. Yeah, it was. And you, you didn't even mess up my white pants with your shoes. Good job. Even. even. And a while later, this guy tells us that there's a button <laughs> that you can put the seat down. So now we're actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> so by now, the GT3 RS is officially approved as a three-seater. Yeah. Maybe even actually four-seater if we have your, your wife with us. We'll try it next, next time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can go do TF tomorrow with three people. You, yeah. think, you think they will let us? Sure. <laughs> Sure. And of course we did some track driving with it. And I got to drive it as well. And also on the same day as we were driving the GT3 RS, Paul Wallace from Supercars of London stopped by at the Nürburgring and I ran into him and decided to take him out for a lap with the GT86. So, how did you like it? <laughs> this is quick. Different than a Huracan? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I don't think I've been around the Nürburgring like that before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it was awesome. Cool. Adrenaline is running. If you want to see like more shots of the video, check yeah. out his I, I, channel. Well, try, I try to film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you, you, you caught our drift. Yeah, I got the drift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the final piece with the M3 was nice. Was yeah, yeah, was yeah. Nice he was quick. He was, he, he was. was quick. Definitely. Well, cool. Enjoy and uh, make sure to stop by at Apex next time. Cheers, man. Cool. Well, this was pretty much it, comrades. The highlights for the past, like, so to say, 10 days. And I want to finish this video, not a vlog, but like the summary video, with a question to you guys. Please ask me questions that you'd like me to answer, because I believe we didn't have a Q&A for quite a while. And yes, of course, there's going to be a Ring Garage video actually in the next couple of days. I'll probably shoot it tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, ask me questions regarding, regarding whatever. And um, yeah, uh, I want to finish with some shots of prototype st spotting because there was uh, a lot of industry pool, the prototype testing going on in Nürburgring. So enjoy that and see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye bye.
Now that's interesting. 